Hey everyone, this is Warren with KL Gadget TV and right now I am at the Proton X70 launch whereby, you know, it's been a while Proton has teased over and over again we have seen how the car looks like and finally today the car has been officially unveiled to the media and to the public and in terms of pricing this is how it is priced so it starts from a 99,800 ringgit and it goes up to 123,800 ringgit that is a super attractive price for a 1.8 liter car 1.8 liter turbocharged car to be specific all right so uh, we are going to take a look at the inside we're not going to talk too much about this because you guys probably know how it looks like and so on and we'll probably talk more about that on the design and the drive performance when we get the unit for review but let us just dive in what's so cool about the infotainment system inside the proton x70 all right, so I'm, what I'm seeing right here now, this is the flame rate color of the premium two-wheel drive variant. It's top of the line, so what you get inside, everything is top-notch. So let's just go inside the car. So as you can see right here, this is the Napa ladder model. All right, I think someone is shooting right there. Are you guys talking? Right, hi. Okay, so let's go get inside to the car. So as, as you can see, as I'm sitting in right here, so you do see this very nice, brush metal finishing but this is actually a hard plastic so if you actually see here this is a, this is a very nice a oh do you hear the sound quality this is a, this is a very nice i think it's an eight inch eight inch panel here so you can see the resolution is pretty high let's stop the music for a while so you can see that this is a very very high resolution bright display and this this ui this software is actually based on android and this is a custom customized ui that uh proton has installed all, all thanks to Jilly's help this is called the GK UI. All right, so it's closed. I'm going to turn on again. So GK UI is, is called Global Key UI. So you do get all these very uh, nice big icons that you can move around. There you go. If you can see, I can even create folders because this is technically Android. Let me show you that as a proof. So if I happen to go into like here. Okay, so this car comes with a free music streaming service from Tencent. It's called the Tencent Entertainment uh, Service, which comes with, you know, like about millions of songs inside. So you can technically just stream music on this device without, you know, plugging any uh, external internet connection because you see it has 4G on board. So the 4G connection here is powered by Cellcom. So basically you get one gigabyte of data for every month. But I'm assuming that the the streaming service here has unlimited data for it because, you know, you're going to depend on it to stream. So obviously it's going to be unlimited for such kind of service inside the car. So yeah, you can see that this is Gboard. So obviously the entire infotainment system is powered by Android. So let's look at some other features of the GKUI. So as you can see here, um, there's no Google apps right now, such as Google Maps, YouTube, and so on. That's because um, this entire infotainment system is shipped directly from China. And Proton did say that they will be including uh, uh, apps such as Google Maps and so on via a future software update. So what you get now when you purchase the car is, of course, by two maps, which is a bit, which is uh, used in China, which um, you know the database might not be the most updated, the routing the routing instructions might not be the best, but then you know it just works. So you just gotta wait for the up update to come over here, and it'll be good to go. So let's go back to the previous interface. So as I mentioned, that it comes with a free music streaming service. This is the Tencent music streaming service. It has a huge catalog of music even with like uh you know like misha omar and some uh local local singers as well like uh kapura manmu by lukman Fais. this is a malaysian malaysian singer so you can see that this this music service isn't that bad at all it's free you know it comes with the car you don't need to pay a single cent i think it's a really really great music service that you should definitely check it out so yeah this car um this is the top of the line proton x70 so it comes with a nine speaker system Okay, so you do get some other uh, features over here, like uh, the membership features. So you do have to download an app called the Proton Link app, which is available on your Android phone or iOS device so that you can control basically any features of your car or monitor your car status from literally anywhere in the world because this already has a 4G connection on board. So let's just go back to the UI and check out some other things. So we do have 
things like the 360 camera. I'm not sure if that works because the, the car is not, it's not uh, started so that you don't get, actually get to see anything. But th there you go, guys. Look at this. This is the 360 degree camera that is only available on the premium variant of the Proton X70. So let's just go back again. And if we look at, look in other features. So let's tap inside. So you do get photos as well. So you can see that the performance on this infotainment system is really, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's smooth enough to not get you annoyed because some Android systems, Android based infotainment systems, they do really lack a lot and it's, it lacks really, really bad. I can, I can say that. All right. So if we go into some other uh, things such as like the weather. Okay. So the weather is the, is generally a general weather app. So you do get the voice assistant, say, hi, Proton. What's up? Um, what's the weather for tomorrow? I beg your pardon. Okay, so obviously it's not, um, it doesn't understand what I'm saying, but you can see that the English here is really not the most, say, not the most accurate English, but it's more like a directly Chinese translated English. So we're going to tap this away, just tap on back. All right, that's all. So we look at, if we look into other features like HVAC, so this is basically a, a air conditioner control that you can, you can use when your car is started. So if we go back and if we go to other features like easy connection, so this, this infotainment system as of now, unfortunately doesn't support Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. But then Proton also says that this is in the update pipeline. So we should be receiving that in a future software update. So at this point of time, if you want to connect your smartphone with GKUI, that's only the mirroring interface. That's pretty much about it. So otherwise, in terms of other features, uh, in terms of the tacky part, you do get a really nice LCD display over here that shows a speedometer and so on, which I can't show you right now because the car is not started. So yeah, this is like the first two of GKUI on the Proton X70. It's a really great infotainment system that is based on Android. Unfortunately, there's still no uh, Android apps that we love to use right here, but then those will come in a future software update. So yeah, this has been the first look at the Proton X70's infotainment system, also known as GKUI. I hope you, you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Um, share with us what you think about GKUI and the Proton X70. We hope to receive a, a, a car to review really, really soon so that I can tell you more about things such as its performance, its drive, the entire user experience while using GKUI inside the car. Do leave your comments down below if you have any questions about the Proton X70 and I'll try my best to answer them. Do you know, um, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and other tech videos that comes up every week and I will see you in the next one.